<laughs> Rob's out of here. Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's All Made It. All right, a quick question for you uh, that I get a lot from you guys on YouTube and Instagram is what is our official rain policy? What do we do when we get rained out like today? Go figure. We've had, gosh, I, I, I don't know the exact number, but it's got to be 10 inches of rain in the last 10 to 12 days. It's been absolutely ridiculous here. Now, I know a lot of you guys are also getting drought, which also stinks. But for those of you guys that are just getting blambasted with rain, let me just share a couple quick thoughts with you guys. Might be able to help you out with what we do when we get excessive amounts of rain. So let's check it out. All right, guys. Well, if you're new here, our channel is all about helping you guys grow a more successful business so you guys can go out there and crush it. And today, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about rain delays. So I've done a couple of videos on this topic in the past. And so let's revisit it, though, for those of you guys that might be new to the channel. Uh, by the way, if you guys get anything out of this video by the time we're done, big so uh, thumbs up. If you guys can do me a quick solid, really appreciate that. Um, so when it comes to rain delays, the biggest question I get from a lot of you guys is whether or not we mow in the rain. Now, typically speaking, we do not mow in the rain. Now, we just finished up uh, a residential property uh, property, and a commercial property. It went from a light rain to a drizzle to a little bit more of a heavy drizzle to a shower. So now we're pretty much getting some pretty decent rain coming through. So we had to finish up. So the number one thing I'd say is if we have to finish up a quick couple cuts, yes, we will mow in the rain, but we try not to do it for our residential uh, customers for sure. But for our commercial, we do once in a while. So when it comes to heavy rain delays, right? Uh, sometimes you just get three, four, five days worth of rain and it's like, where do you restart? At least that's sometimes how I'm always wondering, right? Maybe you guys can relate. Like, do I pick back up where I left off? Or if it's been raining for five days solid, do I restart that following week? Like, let's say it rains from Wednesday to Sunday. Do you start that following Monday with your Tuesdays or do you just restart from Monday? And, and that is a tough, question to answer because the phone's going to start ringing customers start freaking out hey where are you at and it's like don't you live right where i live as well you know we just got downpours torrential downpours tornadoes and thunderstorms the last five six days no never works that way they want to know where were you at why did you not cut our lawn my lawn is five inches tall all of that kind of stuff right so for us personally we do our best to wherever we left off we restart now, if it's five or six, that's with a one or two day rain out. Now, if it's a five or six day rain out, sometimes you have to literally take two extra days off and then restart the whole freaking route. It stinks, it sucks, there's nothing you can really do. You just lost all of this revenue, all of this money, and there's no way to really recuperate from that loss of business. Unless, again, unless you wanna mow in the rain. Now, I have seen so many folks out there mow grass, sun up to sun down when it's pouring rain or not sun up to sun down but from eight to five they're just mowing grass just chunks of grass wet grass just leaving trails of grass everywhere and i'm like how can you do that how can you do that now i'm not putting anybody down that that do that sometimes you got to get work done i totally get it in fact just last week our apartment complex that my wife and i live in those guys were out there we had got three inches of rain huge mega storm came through for 12 hours straight those guys were out there that evening at 5 p.m. for about three extra hours of daylight mowing and they're just hopping around and the grass is all getting all slushy and muddy and all the different walkway passes and the mowers tracking all over the place and I'm like, oh, my heart hurt, my heart hurt for just watching it happen. But those guys probably had a full schedule and they had to do whatever they had to do. One thing I will say is that sometimes not mowing grass, sometimes taking a loss in immediate revenue will actually pay bigger dividends for you long term, right? By not cutting the grass this week, letting the grass dry up, educating the customer that it's going to be more beneficial to just let it dry out. Um, maybe they just for whatever reason don't understand that you can't mow when it's wet. Um, is going to pay a bigger dividend for you by keeping that customer for years uh, on end versus just trying to make that extra 50, 60, 80 bucks, cutting it that next day when you're gonna track up the whole property, leave some huge ruts, all that kind of stuff, right? So for us personally, if we give it a heavy thunderstorm or, or rain out for the day, we try to come back the next day or two days later, we let it dry out. If we get a quick passing shower, frankly, we always go to lunch. We go get breakfast or lunch. We try to look at the weather schedule on our phones, look at the hourly forecast. Hey, it's gonna come down at 2 p.m. Well, if we normally take breakfast or lunch at 11 or 12, not today, right? We're gonna work all the way till two, then let it rain, and then we'll evaluate. Are we done for the day, or are we gonna let it dry out for an hour or two, and then go mow until five or 6 p.m.? 
that's the kind of stuff that we do. If it's a passing shower, we can normally go right back out, but if it's a hardcore rain out, then we're gonna come back the next day or two days later. So it's really a juggling act. It's really a balancing act with all of your customers, residential or commercial. The biggest thing I can tell you, and this is true with a lot of things in life, Communicate, communicate, communicate. Have your customers on a email uh, newsletter, have your customers on an email blast, uh, a text message blast, whatever CRM you guys use. They have all these different services. The biggest thing is just communicate. In fact, last thing I'll say is some of you guys do get these uh, thunderstorms, these uh, tornadoes, the hurricanes and the tropical storms, right? Especially a lot of you down south. It's okay to communicate to your customers that lawn service is gonna be postponed for two weeks. For crying out loud, you guys are dealing with hurricanes and boarding up windows and torrential downpours and you know trees are all knocked over anyway. People get it, people get it. The biggest thing is just communicate, okay? So that's all I got for you, just short and sweet. Um, let the lawns dry up, okay? Don't be so quick to get back out there uh, unless your lawns are very, very flat. A lot of ours are very flat. We can get a good thunderstorm, Two hours later, the grass is dried up and we're at back out there, but all of our lawns are flat, like by design. Not everybody has that opportunity. If you got hills and slopes and drainage ditches and just the frustration of muddy tracks and ruts and divots or a mower going and getting stuck, that's gonna cost you a couple hours. Save yourself the headache, go home, take a nap, go home, go date the wife, take her out to a movie, go watch the, watch the next Avengers movie, something like that. Go work on equipment, that kind of stuff. That's what we do when we get heavy downpours. Frankly, I said this on a video before, I go take a nap. I go take a nap for an hour or two because we are go, go, go. I think that's God's way of slowing us down and saying, hey, let me give you a little bit of margin. You've been going pretty hard. Let's slow down just a little bit here. Enjoy some time with the family. And then we all know we're gonna have to put in those hours to play catch up. In fact, just now, Rob was leaving and I said, hey dude, Wednesday we're probably gonna work a 12 or 13 hour day. We gotta play catch up. There's so many hours that have to get put into the business to get the lawns done. Don't be surprised if on Wednesday we gotta work a 13 hour day and he said, I get it, let's do it. So now you guys know our official policy when it comes to rain and rain outs. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys do. Leave me some comments down below. Really appreciate the support as well. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Our channel is all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn and landscaping business so you guys can go out there and crush it. So big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this quick clip. Also, check out these other quick YouTube videos. You guys might enjoy these as well. Guys, Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. We'll look forward to catching up with you guys on the next one.